Hi, this is Lori from Common Sense Homesteading and today we're talking about stinging nettles. Now this is my nettle patch. It volunteered wild in an old manure pile and if you look you can see these tall upright canes. They were probably oh, like 8 to 10 feet tall. So they're taller than I am and that's last year's growth. When I'm coming out here today to clear away the old canes to make room for an easier harvest for this year's growth. Now I'm going to move in here closer. There's Zoro. <laughs> uh, wanted to check out and see what I was doing. Now nettles can be easily identified by handling them, which I don't recommend, but um, they will produce a stinging or burning sensation in your hands when you handle them. And that will subside after several hours, but is quite uncomfortable. You can get rid of it a little bit sooner by rubbing the effective area with either lamb's quarters, jewelweed, or plantain, which are also other wild plants. Now if you look at a nettle plant, you will see that the leaves are sharply lobed. See those little teeth on the side? I shouldn't say lobed. They're, they have te very distinct teeth. And they have prickly stems as well. Now, I won't be handling these a whole ton with my naked hands because they will definitely get my hands stingy after a little bit. But what you want to do if you're harvesting these, the young growth like this is going to be the most tender and uh, least prickly. As, they get, as it gets later in the season they will get a harsher sting and it will be more difficult to handle them. But I still recommend gloves. You can, uh, at any time, you can harvest these just by trimming off the green growing tops and then you take them in and you use them just like you would any other cooked green, like a cooked spinach or kale. You want to cook uh, for at least 10 minutes till they're nice and tender and that will actually get rid of the chemical that causes the burning sensation so they'll be safer to eat. And then serve them up with some butter or olive oil and salt and pepper or season any way you like. You can pretty much substitute them for any cooked green in any recipe. And they also are very good for seasonal allergies. If you eat them regularly or steep them in teas, um, you, and to make a tea you just take the herb and you pour boiling water over it and steep for 10 minutes and then remove the spent herb. And if you drink that regularly, it is known to help with seasonal allergies because nettles contain a natural antihistamine. The greens are also good for uh, bone building and as a general health and wellness tonic. They contain a lot of trace, miner trace minerals and are generally uh, just considered a really good spring tonic herb. So next time you see nettles, don't panic, just handle them with care and consider making them part of your uh, regular foraging roundup. And that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Remember, you can visit us and learn more at www.commonsensehome.com. Thanks.